ओके हेलो टेक किस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई नो आई आई हैव नॉट अपलोडेड वीडियोस फ्रॉम कपल ऑफ वीक्स देयर वाज अ टफ टाइम गोइंग ऑन बट नाउ आई एम बैक विद वीडियो आई एम विद द एसकेएल सीरीज दोस हु हैव नॉट वाचड द एसकेएल सीरीज प्लीज वाच द प्रीवियस वीडियोस बिकॉज़ आई हैव कवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स द सब क्वेरीज द ग्रुप बाय क्लॉज हैविंग क्लॉज अ लॉट ऑफ क्लॉजेस आर देयर प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट आई हैव सॉल्वड प्लेंटी ऑफ क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एक्सप्लेन देम इन अ वेरी नाइस वे सो प्लीज वाच दोस वीडियोस इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद the next series of questions where i will be learning the joints so which is very interesting and i have a surprise at the end of the video please watch the video carefully and watch the full video let's get started okay guys so before i start the video there are three main tables that we are working on so we are working on Employee table that is uh, Scott. Scott is the schema where uh, the table is stored. Employee is the table and department table and salary table. And if you uh, have not seen my videos, the first video of the SQL series, I have taught uh, created these tables and imported the data. That is there already available. Please watch that video and you can create your own uh, tables and import the data. All the details I have given, I have written an article on LinkedIn. Also, you can use that and create the tables. It will it is very easy. let's get started with the 57th question so here display the employee name who are working in accounting department so uh, let me check which is accounting department so department 10 is the accounting department accounting department so display the employee names so select e name from emp so uh, department 10 so what i can do is select e name from from emp Where DPT number equal to ten. If I do these, what will I get? I will get the employees who are working on department ten. So here I saw right department ten is accounting number, but this is not how you are going to do because they are asking from accounting department. Tomorrow by any chance the accounting department itself the department number changes. this query is not going to work so we should have a query which is effective so let me do it uh, in multiple ways okay for you to get the understanding of it so let me get rid of the whole thing select enum from emp okay where department number equal to select department number from dept okay dept where department where d name where d name equal to accounting or thing a c c o u n t so you cannot make mistakes here the accounting spelling should be right okay so let me put it here also dept number d e t number okay so clark king and miller are working in department 10 which is Depart department 10 department 10 is the accounting department okay so this is how you can do where us in this sub query i am getting the department number department number from which table the department table where the department name is accounting okay this is one way but now if if i say obviously in the query it is not asked if i want to know the employee name and the department number and the department name okay these three columns i want so there is a concept called as joints which we will have to use to get this so let me make it very simple i will try to make it the most simplest form please uh, listen to it and it will very carefully watch the video okay you have to practice all these very carefully select uh, whatever it is from emp e comma d e p t d okay what is this e emp e this e is a alias name i don't want to use emp emp all the time i want to use just e or dpt 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 all the time so let me make it even more easy just these two table i want details from these two tables right emp and department so e name is in which table emp table okay department number is in which table it is in both the tables okay and then d name so see here we have department number in department table see select star from dpt when i run this i get department number and d name but whereas 
when I write select star from EMP here also I have DPT number okay so I have DPT number in both the tables so this will become ambiguous so now let me just run this uh, see column ambiguously de de defined so DPT number is defined in both the tables EMP table and department table so that's why we cannot use D DPT like this so what I will do I want DPT uh, number from EMP table EMP dot now you see I'm getting output at least whatever output I'm getting I'm getting output query is not yet over I'm getting output okay what is the output what is the what is wrong why so many rows are coming that will go into detail at least output is coming the query is refined so when I say from EMP and DPT where EMP dot DEPT number should be equal to what DEPT dot DEPT number correct isn't it correct so when we see here department this department number and employee department number this department number should be same only then you show me this now you see 14 see Clark is working in 10 which is accounting department correct and Jones department 20 research department 30 sales department these are the three departments that is there so now I am getting the details of all the department but I want only accounting department so here what I will do DEPT DEPT dot D name I have to put and here in the where clause okay because there are two conditions when there are two conditions you have to see you have to use and or 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 those things are there I have already explained them please go through our previous videos to understand that and dpt dot dp dpt dot d name should be what accounting now you see when I run this I only get Clark and accounting so here I was only getting what Clark and the department number but here I am getting the department name also although this is not asked in the query it is only asked accounting department so this query holds good but this query is little advanced where I am showing the department name also but this will include a new concept of what is called as joins but here we are using inner join okay see here we are doing comparison with equal to sign this is called inner join okay please comment inner join or please comment con joins I will explain I will take a take up joins topic I will explain all the different joins for you to understand okay so the previous output which was too many records which are coming that is a different type of join and now here this is a different type of join okay so i'll explain that into detail if you like this video and comment saying that we want to learn joins okay there are a lot of videos in youtube you can learn joins from them but if you want me to explain if you like my explanation of it i will explain with examples so that it is easier for you to understand so please comment joins and please hit the thumbs up to inspire me to motivate me that's how i will make more videos so inspire me please <laughs> okay Chalo. 57 question display the employee name who are working in chicago okay chicago 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 select star from dept okay she chicago 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 here sales team is working in chicago display the name of employees who are working in chicago okay with the employee names again we'll go through the concept of inner join itself that is join concept okay select now please please write the query with me select employee name right e name e name is coming from which table emp dot e name okay emp dot e name and one employee name who are working in Chicago okay. the employee name just so from emp comma dept okay because the chicago is where location is where the location column is in department table so that's why i have to import where emp dot dept number equal to dept dot dept number okay and which which table it is department table dept dot loc location right that is that is what is there see location okay equal to working in chicago right c h i c a g o chicago 
now when i run this i'm getting these employee names let me print the dept dept dot loc okay now you see these employees are working in chicago let me print the department number also emp dot dept number okay so everyone is working in department 3 and what is the department 3 let's print the department name also dept dot dm that means initially when i said they are working in sales department why because department 30 is the only department which is working in chicago here we saw right see here department 30 which is sales department is working in chicago so whoever is working in chicago mostly is working in the sales team <laughs> that is what it comes out to be so but this is how you will write the query from these two tables where these two tables department number should match so to explain the concept emp department okay so department department this department number in the department table here this department table here it is the primary key of this particular table but whereas if i do uh, select the apt number from emp if i do this so this this department numbers are the foreign keys primary key will not have duplicates so here department table we have we don't have any duplicates but whereas in employee table we have duplicates see 20 30 30 20 30 30 30 so but department number becomes a foreign key in employee table and the primary key in department table okay so i know this is getting little complicated so please comment join if you want to learn join i will explain in detail what is primary key what is foreign key what is inner join what is cross join what is self join all the different type of joins i will explain so please watch this part of the video again these two questions what i have solved please watch this video again two three times for you to understand and make notes please make the tables and then make notes and try to play around with this query which will help you to understand the concept better okay i will stop the video here so that you practice again and again i will take the further question there might be different type of joints also i'll take those questions in the next video please share this video with everybody and like the video and as i told i will tell our surprise so the surprise is uh, if we get 2000 subscriber now it is your job guys it is your task okay i have been uploading videos now it is your job to make 2000 subscriber the moment 2000 subscriber is hit i have already announced a boot camp on my linkedin post there is going to be a boot camp i am already recording the video the boot camp video so that video the moment it hit 2000 subscribers i will upload that video on youtube and make it live for you to uh, understand the whole sql okay this is going to be very very i uh, like it it is going to be a very long video 10 hours or 12 hours of video that boot camp i will make it live for you only if you make 2000 subscribers till the time you don't make 2000 subscribers that boot camp is not going to come so it is your task to make 2000 subscriber fast and then you watch the video boot camp which will be very helpful for you okay so thank you for watching the video and please uh, express your love and affection and inspiration please hit the like button to inspire me more and so that i make more videos and help you all okay see you in the next video bye bye